Hey everybody, uh, it's been a while, but um, I just came on to let you know that I've been going through a really bad um, eczema, eczema, whatever you want to call it, flare. And it's been probably, I would say, a good seven years of off and on flares that are quite severe. Um, I don't know if you can see this or not, but... It is, you can see where it's white, that's my normal skin color. Um, my knuckles and everything are quite bad. My eye, my eyes aren't as swollen today as they have been, but um, yeah. So you can see the normal color on the hand. But uh, I also have it all over my quadriceps and on my right leg or sorry, my left leg on the shin. And uh, yeah, there's blisters in other spots too on my, on my body, like on my thighs, my hips or whatever that aren't um, in big patches right now. But um, this past week and a half, I think I've had about four days where I couldn't sleep. And, and Normally I go to bed and, and I hit the pillow and within two minutes I'm sleeping. And I get up once a night sometimes to go to the bathroom, but uh, other than that I sleep quite soundly. And I just, in this past week and a half, I've had about probably four days, maybe even five, where I couldn't sleep. I would just lay there and I could hear everything. It was almost like I was in a conscious state but just rested and never went to sleep uh, and then this morning I was up till 5 30 in the morning I went to bed at about 11 o'clock last night which is late enough but I laid there until about one o'clock in the morning and then I just finally got up and um, I wasn't tired I mean, I was tired, but I wasn't tired, you know, to the point where you want to lay down and go to sleep. So I started doing more researching on eczema. And I came across a few articles on, um, let me think here for a second, nickel, nickel allergies. And years ago, probably in my 30s, maybe, I'm 60, almost 62 now, in my 30s, I remember having the uh, the rivet, the buttons on the blue jeans, you know, that's metal. If that would sit against my skin, I would get really bad sores there. Uh, it would get really super red and blister up and then, you know, ooze and, and crust over. And then uh, I would have to put either a band-aid there or tuck my shirt in or something to keep that metal off my skin. And I also had it with rings. You know, back in the day we had cheap jewelry. Um, and earrings, always on the side here. My earlobe and on the side of my neck. Still today, if the shepherd's hook hits there, it gets a really bad rash and it has to do with nickel. So in my researching, I discovered that there is nickel in everything we eat. Uh, it comes from the soil and I didn't know that. So I've been researching all day today as well and I printed off um, a bunch of sheets of different types of food and the levels of nickel in there. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I landed up doing was going through my cupboards and my freezer and just got rid of everything that was really high in nickel and it's funny because after I started thinking about all the things that are really high in nickel, those are all the things that I've been eating for the last year and a half because I went vegan uh, in the early part of 2020, I think. Maybe it was a little later than that. I'm not 100% sure now. Maybe it was towards the end of 2020. But anyways, um, I am eating meat again now, but... Uh, a lot of the leafy greens and stuff like that are super high in nickel. And so I was feeding my body all this, what I thought was really great food, 
which which is, but not for my body because I'm almost 100% sure I have a nickel allergy. And if you if you research it, there's a high percentage of people in the world that are uh, allergic to nickel. So, yeah, another journey to get on here. But if it gets rid of this rash on me, you know, uh, yeah, I just want to cry. It's been a real struggle. It's been a real, real struggle. And, um, you know, there's never any answers from dermatologists and doctors because they just don't know. They just want to keep giving you steroid creams and stuff. But you can only use steroids for so long. And what happens is your body gets addicted to it. So if you try and go off of it, you go through, um, yeah, what do you call it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyways, um, so yeah, if you suffer from eczema or rashes, like under your armpits or your hands or anything like that, check out your nickel intake. And even like stainless steel pots and pans, I have the 1810, which I thought was the best because my mom always told me that was the best. But it's not if you have a nickel allergy. So our best bet if you have a nickel allergy is to cook with cast iron or even uh, the glass cookware, that, like the Vision or the Corningware. And uh, so I thought about that, and I thought I got to rethink all my ways of cooking too. So, yeah, um, I'll keep you updated here and let you know how things are going. Today is January 26th, 2022, so I will do another video somewhere down the road to let you see how the rash is coming along, if it's disappearing or not. So anyways, I hope this sparks something in somebody to do some research on it for themselves. And I hope it will make you better. And, you, you know, pass it on to somebody else that might be going through the same thing. Okay, anyways, have a good one. Bye.